if you accept everything the way that it is and call it perfect and you determine and believe that it's already perfect, guess what? You're going to manifest more of that perfection and it will turn into perfection for you. That is what makes people come back and actually fulfill their true desire with you. Hey guys, I'm Jasmine with Manifest Fast with Jasmine, and this video is on how to become emotionally detached from everything. I already made this video, and then I went back and recorded over it again, because this is such an important topic. So I'm laying it out here in a very highly digestible, simple way, because when you understand this, your manifesting life is going to be so much better. I know that you guys like to see my face, but I've had another treatment done to my face and I'm not gonna be camera ready for like a week. However, I do know how important this teaching is because I know what it's like when you really, really want something or someone and you just wanna manifest it and you're trying everything and nothing seems to be working and all you have left to do is come back to yourself and blame yourself and sort of wallow in your own aloneness and failure. This video is really going to solve a lot of that for you and put it in a different perspective that is a lot more productive, a lot more helpful, and actually helps you to manifest what you really want. So if I was you, I would listen all the way to the end. What causes feelings of need? So what we ordinarily see among people is that they're looking at physical representations for fulfillment. But the thing is that you cannot get fulfillment from a physical representation. Physical representations represent aspects that you truly desire. Okay, so manifesting is all about getting in touch with the essence or the state that represents the aspects that you truly desire. And then when you get into touch with the state of the aspects that you truly desire, they will come through a physical representation. The confusion comes about when you think that the physical representation is what you desire. That is never true. It is never a physical representation that you desire. This is why you can have everything in the world and still feel unfulfilled and still feel like something is wrong and still feel empty and still feel unhappy. I'm watching a show right now. It's called Love is Blind. Not that I recommend it, but this is about a bunch of people who are essentially gathering together in this reality TV show and they are looking for a lifetime partner to marry. And it is very evident as I'm watching this show that all of these people believe that they want a physical representation, a life partner, a husband, a wife. That is what they're after. And yes, there's many other things that they're aware that they want along the way. They know that they want connection, they know that they want sex, they know that they want to enjoy the process, but really they're focused in the physical representation. And that's what throws people off. If you're focused on a physical representation, you're not focused on the aspects of your true desire. Being focused in a physical representation distracts you from the aspects of your true desire. So I'm going to explain why, but I want to bring to you some ideas that you've heard of before, like consciousness, the idea of being in the moment. Why are these things important and what do they mean? So when I'm conscious, my definition of conscious is a sort of God state where you know that all of your desires are being fulfilled. That in itself 
is going to put you in a peaceful state where you're not attached to anything, you're not reaching for anything, you're not needing anything, because I know all of my desires are coming to me. Now, what does being in the moment have to do with anything? This moment is where everything that you want is. This moment is where all of the aspects that you truly desire are being revealed to you now. But the thing is that your true desires are morphing and changing from moment to moment. Your true desire is what's relevant in this moment. So if you're not defining this moment as perfect, then you're not going to experience the perfection of this moment. You're not going to experience the aspects that you truly desire that are being revealed to you right now in this moment. Now, now, now. Instead, you're not in this moment. You're somewhere else. Reaching for something that from this perspective now, since you've defined this moment as imperfect, you're believing that you lack. So the three things that you need to do if you want to be detached from everything are number one, define everything as perfect. Because if you're defining everything as perfect, you can then attract everything moment to moment to moment that is perfect. Remember, you attract what you believe. Hands down, that is always the case. Your beliefs manifest, that trumps everything. So if you're defining life as perfect, then the perfection will continue to show itself to you. The second thing that you need to do is look for the perfection in the now. So if everything is already perfect, what's perfect about this moment now? How is this perfectly exactly what I want? How is this my true desire right now? How is this my perfection unfolding now? Always be looking in your moment and defining what's happening in your moment as perfect in order for the perfection to reveal itself to you. That will gain momentum and it will become more and more and more perfect. This allows you to do number three, which is take everything for face value. Yes, define everything as already perfect, just the way it is. So you're taking everything for face value. Even if it's not giving you something that you believe that you ultimately want. So let's say that you've identified a specific person and they say they don't want to be with you. Take that for face value because you're not after the physical representation. You're after the aspect of love and partnership and happiness and commitment. And so if you're, if you're aware that you're not looking for a physical representation, but you are aware that you're looking for the aspects to reveal themselves to you, then you will be able to take everything for face value. So let's say that they tell you they don't want to be with you. Accept it. Okay, I'm not the one. You accept that as perfect the way that it is. Now here is the plot twist. If you take everything for face value and define it as perfect as it already is because you believe that everything is perfect the way that it is, and you know that all of your desires are being fulfilled, are coming to you, here's what will happen. If someone says they are not for you, and you say, okay, very well, you're not for me. Obviously, there's a, these are not the aspects that I desire that are coming through you. Okay, I believe you, I'm not for you, thank you very much. If this person, representation, actually is the one for you, you agreeing with them that they're not for you will be very disturbing to them. That is what makes people come back and actually fulfill their true desire with you is when you accept them as perfect any way that they are showing up. That is what we call unconditional love. But you can't fake this. It can't be faked. 
You can't be upset and throw your arms up and wish that they were different and also claim that you are being unconditionally loving and accepting to them. No. You have to truly actually define it as perfect and actually take it for face value and believe that what they're saying is true. This is just an example. But the core meaning of what I am saying is that when you define things as perfect, the things that you define as perfect will continue showing you their perfection. And the momentum that grows will continue to be more and more perfection unfolding. So if you say, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is not what I want, this is wrong, you'll get more of that. But if you say, this is perfect, this is perfect, I know that this is perfect, I accept this for what it is because it's perfect, you'll get more perfection. With these philosophies, and if you live this way and believe this way and do this way, you will go about your life without being attached to anything. You will be detached from everything. Because instead of needing something to fulfill you, you will be being fulfilled moment to moment to moment by the perfection of what already is in your moment to moment life. You will be able to see all of your true desires coming to you perfectly as it unfolds. So just define everything as perfect. If you're going to judge, which you are, just accept everything for face value and define it as perfect because if you accept everything the way that it is and call it perfect and you determine and believe that it's already perfect, guess what? You're going to manifest more of that perfection and it will turn into perfection for you. This does require a transition in your thinking, so if you would like to help yourself make that transition, I'm going to have a playlist right here for you. If you just watch the videos in this playlist, it's going to help you tremendously, but don't forget to apply. If you've watched all the way up to this point, please click the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell button. If you would like to work more closely with me, feel free to join my group on Facebook, or I have coaching available. And also, I'm starting to do these trips and retreats in beautiful places around the world. And I got to tell you, I think it's the most transformational thing that you can do. All of those links are in the description below. Check it out. I will see you in the next video. That's easy.